don't really taste it. And uh, I added it to like a quarter gallon. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fucked up your whole I gallon. T- I took a drink of it and literally like, dude, like when you're a kid and your mom tells you like wash your like strep throat out with like fucking uh, straight uh, salt water. salt water. Yeah, uh, and it, like you can't even, it's just pure salt. Yep. Dude, I, don't, I didn't think I had poured that much in there. Ruined the entire jug. I now have that quarter gallon has been, I've been breaking it out and I'll fill this up to about this uh, line right here. Yeah. And then I'll pour the rest of my jug in there and then it's still salty as shit Ugh. like i'm like bro because i don't want to waste it like <laughs> good afternoon everybody and welcome to the built for war podcast i am your host austin trotter accompanied by my co-host mr michael music What's up, Strings Freaks? And uh, we also have another co-host here in the studio today. He's just down on the ground right below the camera. So yeah. if you see me reach down or you hear something go, ah, <laughs> it's it's my... Uh, it's, it's just a baby. It, it's just our other co-host. Yeah. Austin James Trotter Jr. Sure. Sure. Um, <clears throat> just before we get started into the podcast, we appreciate you guys... Uh, Listening, tuning in, doing all the liking, the sharing, subscribing, everything. Um, our numbers keep going up, so we really appreciate you guys. Uh, getting closer to that 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is a pretty big deal for us. Absolutely. Considering, I think, when we started out, we, of course, we had zero when we started out. But right. when I think when we got back into the whole reel of things, I think we were only at like 10 or 15. I was going to say, I think I let, like 11 is holding in my head for some reason. We'd have to look. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. But, I think uh, I can see it. Um, but I remember forever, like, yeah, no, we just want to shout out the love. And, like, we appreciate it. We do this for you guys. And, uh, and it keeps us motivated to grow, right, and more knowledge and just pass that on. And, uh, yeah, when we came back into this, like, solid, like, all right, man, every week we are going to do this. Like, we're going to, like, we're going to say we're going to do 100 episodes, like, nonstop every week given the content and see what happens like you know put our valiant effort into the skull and uh, yeah we had like 11 i think each 11 subscribers and like each video maybe got like our ogs we had like 10 views like or it was like 11 subscribers and like 11 views like you know what i mean we never seem to reach anything and then just over the the, the span of uh what has it been two years a year and a half two years uh it's been since we have non-stop put out content because it was not when i we think were, it's been it's been a year since we've been okay i think it was gonna say i think we talked about it on another podcast it's been like a full year without stopping and uh and yeah now we're you know 90 something subscribers and like you know and constant views and bringing new people to the channel so we appreciate you guys uh me go to something you okay love you gracias see sí. Um, so yeah, we really appreciate you guys doing all of that and signing in, getting tuned in. Um, the, like I said, you know, the channel has been blowing up. If you guys are on the Spotify, if you guys wouldn't mind just taking a second, just to go to the YouTube, hit that like subscribe, do whatever. Um, the YouTube is where we're going to be able to monetize the fastest. Yeah, absolutely. So we're kind of just going hard into that right now. Um, Life's been fucking hectic, so you guys are going to be getting pounded here <laughs> with some content coming up. Cool. Um, we've got the we've got a day in the life with you, Zach, and I deadlifting in suits. Yeah. Uh, we also have Premier TRT, um, and then it's comp season, so your guys, yeah, you guys are going to be- get flooded with content here really soon. So, and like we said, we're going to keep a, you know. Um, the video content is quality right now. Choice, as I would say. Uh, but our next upgrade is the microphone. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anybody in construction just knows that. Like, on my on my blue collar voice, I'm going to say a phrase. And then you comment back <laughs> and answer my phrase, all right? And tell me if I see you. I'm walking up on you on the job site. Okay, you comment back on that and tell me if you know what that means. All right, I know exactly what you <laughs> he said. He knows, by that. like literally, <laughs> we do that at work all the time, yeah. <laughs> constantly. You know, you've been in a blue collar industry for so long when you, when somebody explaining shit to you doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, what you're gonna do? You're gonna go mount this 24 inch cabinet up here. You're gonna do the bases down here. Yeah. Make sure that your spreader like this, that, and the other. Right, right. It's like. 
what? Uh, exactly. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, why didn't you just say that the first time? See, bro. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> um, it's so true. <laughs> Uh, by the way, we do have, uh, just to get the rest of this kind of cleaned up before we get into the topic of the day, if you guys go to the website, we do have it all updated. Uh, just go to www.builtforwarstrength.com. This is going to be our homepage here. You just got your featured products. If you guys go into the apparel line, you will notice something new. We have five new shirts out. Ooh. These are all of the support shirts that we've been talking about. Yes. So every single athlete has their last name on a support shirt with our new and improved, not catchphrase. What am I trying to think of here? Uh, I mean. Like mission statement type yeah, of deal? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So we just, we, you know, we upgraded our logos on it. For These are for the team shirts and, uh. Yeah, I guess it would be like a catchphrase in a sense. We got the last names of all the athletes, as we, you know, we've spoken on our previous podcast. If you guys want to help out and, you know, buy any of the merch, but if you guys want to buy into the team shirts, that is helping support that specific uh, teammate. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, now we got the Bill for Laura. We went the OG, original, you know, black on uh, red. And then, yeah, and then we hit a little catchphrase there on the bottom, which... I appreciate. I yeah, like. I think all of us, especially us all being Christians, come through Absolutely. the walk of life with God and Absolutely. everything. Um, I mean, they say it in the Bible: it's fast "Iron does. does sharpen iron," and it makes it sense with what we do. Absolutely, we lift iron. We do. I mean, it's iron, and it's just like, and we rub off on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, he took it there. You know what I mean? Uh, what we always preach on this podcast and everything else is the strength community of just like the camaraderie and everything else. Everyone's yeah. always building each other up, and that is iron chopping iron. So, uh, yeah, I I dug it. So yeah. I think it looks great. And uh, so check out the website. He's ruffling and uh, get yourself a shirt for uh, <laughs> and support the teammates. Yeah. So like Mike was saying, I'm just going to kind of add on to it. Every single one of these shirts after all of it's paid for, right? Because the shirts cost money to make yep, yep. everything that it's paid for. Once it's paid for the rest of it goes into a fund for that athlete. Yes. So say, you know, just off of the top of the head, if, Zach fucking yeah. gets 10 shirts sold. He's going to get back, say, $150. Yeah, yeah. That covers, well. That's I mean, a comp that entry, and, entry fee. Yeah, yeah. comp uh, comp entry fee and uh, fucking meal. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, seriously, like, you break it up as you will for a comp, you know, local or you're going out. Like, even a comp, uh, an entry fee anymore. Like, we were literally just talking about one of the sh shows we're going to do. We're like, hey, you going to catch that early bird? Because it's an extra 25 bucks once you miss. Like, yeah. that shit helps out. Like, yeah. I mean, that's 150 bucks. Like, we're in the age of inflation. We are, dude. Everything. <sighs> Get me started on that. <laughs> Don't even start now. <laughs> and uh, but it's so true. I mean, like that helps out, right? And then now, or like, yeah, entry fee hundred bucks, and then yeah, you got fifty bucks. So, like, what do you need? You need a new pair of new elbow sleeves from fucking Cerberus. Like, yeah, that's forty five bucks, homie. I got you. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever's gonna help you out, and just those small things, you know, that we always are trying to get with the athletes and stuff. You're dedicating your time, so we're trying to give you the platform to help you out so. yeah for sure and this is going to make it just that much better and easier are you like oh that chair is hitting that one i just keep hearing the freaking mic oh. stand getting hit oh my bad you're my good bad. um but yeah that's just going to help out the athletes more like we wanted to do if you guys are interested in becoming an athlete yeah just go to the athlete page on the website there is an application to fill out under social media type in all of your social medias Obviously, this is an application process. We are not going to just give you the opportunity right away. We want to no. see, we want to bring together like minded people because we're building a community. Yes. Yeah. Like we're, we're literally building an army and a community literally. of, of like minded people. And of course, I just said like the whole religion thing. You do not have to be a Christian to no. be a part of it. No. Um, but, you know, like just come in here and do your application and everything. We'll go through as a team. And see if we are interested or not, and we'll just go from there. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, throw it out, dude. We're gonna keep an eye on you, see what you're all about, and everything else. Because exactly like he said, we're just building a community of 
Yeah, like everything that he said, just replay what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, check out your applications, guys. We'd love to see it and uh, and just you know get some eyes on some new some new people and see what you're doing out there. And uh, so yeah, and then one more tab that we've got that I just got updated is our competitions tab. So obviously we're in the state of Colorado, so we're going to post all of the. <laughs> He's going to town with just that fucking. thing. Swinging like a bag. <laughs> it sounds like he's just swinging like a grocery bag. Remember the old skit? I'm a totally squirrel, but don't let me go too far. Okay. Do you remember the old? I think it was the vines where the guy used to walk around with the fucking like the grocery bag. Oh yeah, <laughs> that started from. Um, what did that start from? Not another teen movie. I think. Yeah, something right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just walked around with his fucking bag. But that started from some other movie. <laughs> but yeah. That's what it sounds like. He's just fucking ripping his grocery bag all over the He place. loves those things, man. <laughs> that's so awesome. He loves those and like <laughs> strings. And that's why we got him that too. Oh my god, that's a so he could just like yank on it. Yeah, he could just yank on it and good man. Good man. Yeah. Love that. Um anyway, so we're back to it. Competitions tab. These are gonna be the three next upcoming competitions in Colorado. Yeah. So Obviously, the next latest and greatest comp is going to be the Shamrock Showdown. Mm -hmm. If you guys are confused on where to go to sign up, there's a nice little button here that where you can click. Boom. And if you scroll down to the bottom, athlete That's registration. That's right. And if you miss the competition, you can always update and look at the view of the scoreboard, and they keep uh, Iron Pope. Iron Podium keeps an update of when the comp's happening and the scores and everything. Even if, like, you, I think, I don't know how long they keep them posted after the comp, maybe like a week or two or something like they're that. They're always posted. Oh, they're always, oh, that's always. right, because you found the fucking Shamrock, the original. So yep. they're always posted. So if you guys happen, hopefully you guys are in the area, come check it out. Or if you guys are looking for a comp, come check this one out. This is a USS National Qualifier, and uh, you're going to have most of the strongest people in Colorado at this show. Yeah. Trying to get their last invites. Um, Yep, this is going to be the first pro show uh, oh, yeah, for 220 and under class in Colorado. Yeah, so. in Colorado, yeah, because the first annual USS one just happened at the Bricktown. Yep. Um, and that was out in Iowa, Dubuque, Iowa. Dubuque. Uh, which actually, as funny as You're it is, wearing a shirt. I'm wearing the Bricktown uh, last year's show. Yep. Um, and uh, But that was last year, it was just a, an open pro show. And then this year they broke out and they added a class. Uh, they had the men, the women, and then I don't know if they had the weight class for women actually. Um, but uh, then they had the two hundred and twenty pro uh, men. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, congrats to all of our uh, Colorado fellas that were out there. There's quite a bit of them actually. There was. So there was quite a bit of us out there. Um, and uh, so yeah, anytime there's a, Col a show in Colorado, you know it's going to be fucking heavy. I will just flat out put that out there yep. after now jumping states and um competing colorado is by far one of the heaviest states um one of the strongest one of the strongest like the savages out here so if you guys are in the area check out the comp if not keep an eye on that iron podium and uh you know keep an eye out on your favorite athletes and stuff and see what's going on yeah so. and yeah so we've got next three uh, uh competitions down here so make sure that you guys go check out the uh the website for more uh obviously you're already listening to the podcast so i'm not going to get yep. too deep into the podcast but that's where you can watch the latest episode of the podcast that's up that's right other than that let's get into the excitement of today all right what do you want to talk about well we only have uh we usually just rant and rave on this podcast you guys know that uh but we did have a little thing that we can bring up that we brought up a couple times ago so awesome was talking that we did and a youtube video just keep an eye out that's a new thing we're going to do. We're not going to make promises on videos because life gets in the way and stuff. So we're just going to tell you, keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it could be a week or two weeks, whatever. Yeah, we're not uh, doing this for like, a living. So. No, no, we don't. Until we get a full-time Jamie, um, like, you know, this is uh, – we do as much as we can, uh, but the content is there. It's shot; just needs to be edited, put it on the uh, on the channel. But uh, we went down to Premiere. TRT are uh, our lovely sponsors of our podcast. Oh, thank you. And uh, – we went and got my blood work done. Now, we talked about that, but I didn't have the results. And then, uh, so I got the res results back and everything. And so we're going to talk about those today <laughs> as the first line of business. Yeah. So, oh, excuse me. So, uh, shockingly enough. Yes. So, first thing to look at, if you can zoom up in this, if you guys got a phone, zoom up. And... Uh, <laughs> Look at that. That there's only one red thing because usually normally what you're looking for is a bunch of reds. Well, there's two. There are two, but it's for the same thing. 
basically. <laughs> basically the same thing. Um, no, I was actually, dude, I'm going to be shocked. And that's what we always t- talk about. Um, when you're going to get your blood work done, like you got to go for brutal honesty. And like I told Mel and the ladies and stuff, like I need you to tell me like what the fuck's going on. Like if I need to stop the way I'm living, the way I'm doing things, like I need to know. So I honestly was going into this, like expecting like <laughs> life changes, life changes, right? The margaritas are gone. This is gone. Like you need to start checking this. You need to check into this. And I am a very like, uh, uh, instinctive person. I feel like I know my body pretty well. Yeah. Like, you know, I really do. And so I kind of go with it and the way I do things and everything else. And, you know, I was, I was actually really happy. Of course I was happy. I think anybody is like, you go get your belly work and everything looks good. Like you're happy, but that, uh, the process was working. So, um, technically, yeah, we're your boy. If this was like a, uh, uh, like a grade testing, like, I think I got like an A minus. Like we did actually pretty good. So um, I don't know a whole lot of this. Austin probably knows a whole lot more about this. She explained it all to me and I was just like, so we're good, right? Then she go to the next one, break it all down. Like, so we're good, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, after looking at everything, like your, like your levels look great. Like even your reds aren't really that red. Um, what I was actually mostly shocked about is your hemoglobin, hematocrit, yeah, and red blood cell count. It's not bad. Like, it's right in the middle of where it needs to be. The hemoglobin is a little high, but yeah. you're still in that range of, like, what you need to function on right, a daily basis. Right, right. Obviously, you're on test. You're on a dosage of test. Yeah. That naturally, and that, and then eating red meat naturally raises your red blood cell count. Absolutely. After your red blood cell gets to a certain point, you are just heavy on blood. You're yeah, high you on blood. You got, need blood. to go donate or yeah. get rid of. And All right. Get some hey, blood buddy. pulled out of you. And if uh, you guys watch uh, the uh, video of us doing it, you'll see I actually tell her that. I'm like, guarantee I need a, dub, uh, a blood dump. Yeah. Guaranteed. And, uh, you know, I had a couple instinctive feelings of like, damn, I think I'm holding a little bit too much blood. And surprisingly, no, I'm not. So I guess that's just... Like what happens, you know what I mean? Because the one rare thing that I noticed, uh, you know, you guys comment, like that's what I'm saying. Like when I always say comment, like legitimately, like if you guys are going through the same kind of things, like, you know, tell me too. So then we, you know, that's how you learn. And uh, yeah, one of the changes that why, uh, why I thought I was a little high on blood. Hey, yes, I've been on a low dose of testosterone for the past f- couple years. A uh, couple minor blood tests. Nothing was ever read uh, other than what is actually read on this. We'll get that in a minute. But uh the changes was I thought I was having a little bit too much bread was that uh, I uh, in this new block of training, I started getting, actually starting to get a little bit like not necessarily having them, but you feel the temptation, the, ten- the tension, headaches. the tension headaches, right? Like just pressure headaches. And then the biggest one was after deadlifts, uh, a strenuous deadlift, you know, like a three by three or something like that. Um, I literally look like after the fact, like I have acne. It's just all these blood vessels broken through my fucking face on my eyes and everything else. And I was like, holy shit. I don't ever really remember that being a thing other than the last few months. And uh, so I really thought that was like a total sign. Right. And I was like, dude, I got too much blood. Like, yeah, that's why we need to get this blood test done now. And, uh, you know, and surprisingly, no, like everything was clean. So, I mean, that's just something that like, you know, I guess it's both sides. It's good that I know, right? And like, but it's something I'm gonna have to deal with after heavy deadlift sessions. I'm gonna look like I'm broken out for like three days. Uh, yeah, but fucking, it's also, <clears throat> it does have a, a certain point of you're getting to that stage now of where you are hitting pretty solidly heavy numbers. Yeah, yeah. And by you doing that, it is going to take a lot on your body. Because you yeah. do have a smaller body. Yeah, it's true. And basically what you're doing is you're squeezing literally everything. Legitimate. Whether yeah. your blood levels are perfect, whether they're low, no right. matter what, you're still going to have some type of reaction. In a sense. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, 
Like yeah. you, you see guys that'll suit up, yeah. go deadlift, and they get broken blood vessels it's in their true. eyes. Yeah, it's true, right? Like You're me all some. the time. My nose bleeds. Or the nosebleed, right? Yeah. And I, that's just it. I've never actually had a nosebleed. I'm waiting for the day. I'm not scared of a nosebleed. I just hope that the day it happens, it's like, well, like you're doing like a sick fucking PR. You know what I mean? Like just a lo- PR. Like a Shivlikov fucking just shaking. Yeah. But you lock that bitch out and you're just draining. That's genuinely what I'm hoping for. Or Shamrock Showdown. Sick. Because, yeah. Sick. If I do that, Sick. just freaking like. Just, yeah. Oh, man. And I'm I've for never, it. I've never, in all my, uh, you know, my four or f- little four years, I guess now of uh, Strongman, I've never had a nosebleed. And all my heavy lifts from straight passing the fuck out, uh, blackout to just my normal lifting, uh, I've never actually had a nosebleed. So. I've had a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So. Um, the other one that I was really uh, like concerned about was your glucose glucose level two. Yeah. Um, basically, what your body's doing with the sugar. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's what pro- glucose is. Is yep. it's basically a transfer from sugar into the cells. Yep. You're right in the middle. Like right. you're literally looking at your at the things that I was concerned about mostly. Well, we'll get into the next page too. The things that I was mostly concerned about, too, was also going to be your estrogen level. Yeah, same. Um, your estrogen level is... Is fine. It's higher. It's higher, but... but it's but... still in the range that it needs to be. Oh, right, right. Right, because obviously you don't want zero. No. I, I don't no. know why it's at a zero, because as a man, you do you want some, some estrogen. Absolutely. Um, that's what helps our joints function. That's yeah. what keeps us basically lubed. Yeah, right, right. Because testosterone is angry. Absolutely. It's dry. Exactly. Um. But you're you're on the higher end, but you're still like good. Yeah. Um, testosterone level even. Like right. you're sitting at a good number. Seven seventy eight for your testosterone total in your body is <laughs> so I should say it's five hundred higher than what the average yeah. well, the average guy walking around nowadays has got like hundred and twenty in their yeah, body. Average, but hence to is why <laughs> fucking most of these men walking around yeah. aren't yeah. men. No. Um <clears throat> That's a whole different fucking topic. Way whole podcast. But looking at this, you being, you know, we'll just say a 780 is a really good spot to be for you. Yeah. Um, any higher, you really start to kind of just push that testosterone. Like, you really start to get into the risk to reward factor, right, 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 to right, where right. it'll start hurting your cardiovascular system yeah, because yeah. your body is working so hard with all that test. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, and like the sex hormone, that looks great. Your free testosterone, which is just the testosterone floating around your body right, at any time. Right. That looks really good. Um, really? So you're only the only red numbers that you have, of course, is your creatinine yeah. and your, there it is. Your creatinine and your LH. Yeah. Um, creatinine levels, they look for a 0. 0.7 to a 0. 0.13. You're at a 0. 0.14. Yeah. You're like barely out of the uh, yeah, the, the level. Yeah. Um, a creatinine blood test measures the level of creatinine in the blood. Creatinine is a waste product that forms when creatine, which is found in your muscle, breaks down. Creatinine levels in the blood can provide your doctor with information on how well your kidneys are working. So a lot of people, basically, if they've got really high creatinine levels, normally their liver and kidney function is their enzymes are fucking yeah, through the roof. Right, right. Um, and yours, like I fucking yeah, said, like they, were okay. they weren't. I know, which I was, you know, that going into this test, everything he said was the biggest worries I had. Liver, kidney, and all those like functions of the body is making sure it's okay. And, uh, um yeah the kidneys i've actually i had that same uh creatin test when i had went to a normal like family doctor before i started going premiere and they said the same exact thing but at the time i was you know a, a big consumer of red meat and i take a supplement of creatine so i kind of got off of those so i literally don't take a creatine supplement and i only eat red meat maybe fuck Maybe once a week, maybe a couple times a week. Yeah. So that's what I was telling Mel. I was like, man, I cut that shit out. It is better. It's probably better than my original if I p- found those. You know what I mean? Right. Because uh, it is only one point off. It's still on the higher end, but it's still one point off in the green. Um, so you know, just for me, 
uh, for longevity and everything else, you know, I asked uh, some advice and stuff like that. So we are going to still get on some multivitamins and uh, some other kinds of things to help with that kidney. And well, and it's just like, it's just natural shit, right? Exactly. So obviously we're not ingesting a normal amount of food on a daily no, basis. No, that's true. Food, water, yeah. any kind of liquid, really. If food, everything gets yeah. broken down in liver, kidney, and stomach. Yeah. That's where it goes to get sent to the uh, intestines to where it fully digests, turns into poop, comes out the rectum. Right. You're welcome. Right. Um, if it's not breaking down in those liver and kidneys or your enzymes are super fucking high, mm. that's when it starts to kill itself. Oh, okay. It's basically like if you think about it, if, if, if it's, it's more or less a muscle, right? Mm. If you overwork it and continue just to beat on it and beat on it and beat on it, doesn't get any stronger, right, starts right. to get worse, and then you get a tear. Absolutely. It's sort of like that. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> your, I mean, like even your your kidney and liver function is completely fine too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, dude. Like I was kind of worried about that because like, yeah, I'm on the test and like, yeah, like I said, it's low doses, everything else, which I felt that it was right for me. I've, I've played doses and I just, like I said, I go instinctively, but again, just cause you're an instinctive pe person does not mean you can't like get the hard facts. Like this is hard facts. Well, so, and this is what you want and anyways. This, yeah. This is what you need. So I don't like, I'm just saying to you, all you other instinctive people, um, like still get your shit checked and, you know, make sure you're on the right page. And, uh, but, uh, I was like, you know, concerned. I like, you know, the, the test has gone through my liver and everything else. And then I love my margaritas. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love my look at it. I'm drinking my crystallinos. Like, you know, it, uh, I'm not a beer drinker. It is straight liquor. So I do, you know, only a couple times a week, but still facts are facts. Like when you're consistently doing that every couple of weeks, uh, I was like kind of concerned, um, like, I just want to make sure everything's clean. So uh doesn't mean, no, we're going on benders or like, oh, it's all good. But, like, it's just it's good to know that, like, you're at least on the right path. And uh, um, but we still plenty of plenty of places to improve. So, yeah. Um So with that being said, like your creatinine levels are completely obviously it's 1.1 1. 1 yeah out, yeah it's not I, terrible no, but it's like, one of those things where getting on you know a milk thistle exactly um just some basic vitamin daily vitamin D. just it, helps out that know, liver kidney function shit. Yeah. yeah so which is nice um your lh your luteinizing hormone is a little down yeah they want you in a 1.5 to 9.3 you're in a less than yeah um point zero seven so what your luteinizing hormone is a test that measures how much luteinizing hormone has in their blood uh this is a hormone that has key roles in both male and female systems luteinizing hormone is involved in many bodily processes including including pregnancy puberty and ovulation um yeah so basically what the lute luteinizing hormone is is it is released from the pituitary gland in your brain and what it does is it helps to function a lot of the human body, basically like what I just read, a lot of the body, but it mostly has to do with um, rebuilding muscle tissue okay. and like it's like rebuilding muscle tissue and helping your body function on a daily basis. Oh, okay. okay. So having it in that range, yeah. something that's perfectly just right, right. is going to be extremely right. beneficial to you. Right, right. Not having enough of it, obviously your body's not going to heal the properly. Right, right. Having too much of it, your body's going to be overproducing. Absolutely. And what that is concern is going to be um, enlarged heart. Yeah. That's yeah. where like all these bodybuilders – Right, right. They're on these massive amounts of test, tread, yeah. deck. The uh, body's like, dude, you can't break down this body enough. I'm yeah, like, so right, what it right. does is it fires that pituitary gland to a point of overexertion, yeah. which destroys your body in the long, in the long term because right. your heart is only supposed to be so big. Right, right. Well, it's a muscle. So if it's beating like fucking crazy, not as in cardiovascular no, wise, but right. it's just, just trying to fucking survive. push. Yeah, it's just trying to push this gel of blood. Right, right. If it's trying to do that constantly, it's wearing it out yeah. instead of making it better. Fuck. Um, so that, and that's another thing that I always tell people: if you can get a monitor to put around your wrist to see what your resting BPM is on yeah. a nightly basis. Yeah, mine is forty-three beats per minute. My 
My heart does not have to work worth a fuck right, while I sleep. It's chilling. And that's how it should be. Absolutely. The more that your heart is raised, that means basically something's wrong with your blood or you're just, you're out of shape. Yeah. yeah. Like that's the best way to find out whether you're right. in shape or you're not in shape. Right. It should be like an average, a good average is about 60 beats per minute. Right. right. Anything right. really under 55 is more <laughs> into that athletic range. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I am not saying that I'm a perfect athlete no, by any but means. You're in but pretty good cardiovascular shape, which is yeah. exactly where I want to be. Yeah, because exactly. When taking testosterone, it is hard on the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's hard on the heart, especially after the age of 35. Oh, facts. Um, so, yeah, just make sure, like, uh, with all of that being said, like, the luteinizing hormone is great to have. And you're, even though, like, you're in the red, you're really yeah. barely under. Yeah. It wouldn't be anything to be worried about. Okay. Um, even then, looking at your GFR. So your GFR is your glomerular filtration rate. So that's what your liver and kidney function is looking like. Oh, okay. Um, they have a nice little thing here on the back. You are in the stage two kidney damage and mild decrease in GFR. So that's why she said you're going to want to start taking yeah, milk, milk thistle, milk thistle. your vitamin C and D. Yeah. Making sure that all of that just starts to get the filtration going. Okay. Because right. luckily... You've got two kidneys. Yeah. And you've got one liver. Yeah. The liver will start to rebuild itself. Yeah. yeah. It's the only thing in your body that rebuilds itself. Yeah. Right. But you've got two kidneys. Yeah. So um, the only reason why I would say this isn't worse is because you do drink so much water on a daily basis. Exactly. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, uh, you'd be uh, fucked. fucked. This is where a lot of Americans are in fucking bad shape. Absolutely. Because they're drinking super fucking high yeah. amounts of alcohol yeah super high amounts of sugar soda soda a fucking 64 ounce slurpee and then i wash it down with my beer at night <laughs> it's like oh my god oh what are you talking about i had like 24 ounces of water today i i, I drank like two water bottles i've been peeing all day you don't even understand. Yeah, and their like, fucking piss yeah. looks like the color of this exactly. bottle. Exactly, it's all brothy and disgust. Like if somebody peed in, fr like you know, you're like at a, a single bathroom. Someone pissed before you, and you walk out right after them, and you just have the aroma of piss, bro. Like, give me a break. Like, you should not be that. Like, I shouldn't have to smell your fucking piss in the air. Not unless you're fucking eating yeah, stalks right. and stalks of yeah. asparagus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, even then, like, even if like, you're still eating a good enough diet. No. Like, because there is sometimes, like, where I've been on <laughs> it happens. a nightly fucking bender. Absolutely. In that first gone morning fucking one. hard. Yeah, I and get that. And that morning one, when I piss, oh, it's, it's just broth. like, oh, yeah. fucking yeah. gross. But, like, in the middle of the day, kind of a thing, like, your body's been breaking down things it's three o'clock or like even dinner right five six o'clock in the afternoon that means you've had the time to ingest so much liquids and your body's been moving hopefully and it's like you're still pissing out broth the ass like i understand morning ones that's different your body's yeah. been in slumber it's in rest mode it's diluting well it's and filtering your, your body automatically burns water while you sleep because right. it's rebuilding the body yeah that's why a lot of people don't hear this but you should immediately wake up and chug 32 ounces mm -hmm. of water first thing in the morning. That's what I do every morning. That's the only way for you to get out right. of the stage yeah. of dehydration. Exactly. Exactly. Because your body's been working. Mm -hmm. You haven't yeah. been drinking. Like people don't realize that. Yeah. yeah. Or and if you so, get up in the middle of the night and go pee, drink water before you go back to bed. Yeah. Like, yeah, I understand. Like you just pissed it out. It's fine. Drink that some is, more water. That is why also like that midnight. Like that midnight drink mm -hmm. where you wake up so and you fucking good. chug it down. And you like, just keep oh, drinking. Fuck. It's like, go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> then you yeah. fucking feel heavy uh -huh. and you're just like, oh, I'm And you go right back to bed. But yeah. like your body is working at its at most while you're asleep, dude. Like that's that's the biggest recovery is sleep, like good sleep. So yeah, I, I, I've I learned that years ago. And like, every, well, I always got my water everywhere I go, but right by my nightstand. Yeah. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. Fucking sit at the end of my bed, like chill at my body. I fucking constantly have one of these Always. by my side. Like, Everywhere. I have yeah. I have two of them by my yeah. side right now. I would have my big one, um, but I've made a mistake. And uh, so my boy Ronnie that I work with and my brother, 
I was talking about hydration and stuff like that, and uh, and especially in our line of work and uh, construction. And uh, so they ordered uh, Celtic salt off of Amazon. Yeah. And they, they've been putting it there in their jugs and shit. So I fucked up. And uh, last night I had a, my jug. And I'm terrible. I can't buy fancy jugs. I, like you, I buy just like gas station ones because I lose them. Like I always get a sick water bottle. I lose bottom. them or I fuck uh, them up. Yeah. Like I leave it, lose it. Like I just, so I just buy the jugs. If I don't need it, well, it's a fucking jug. Go buy another one. Yeah. Um, but anyway. He's sitting there, <laughs> and yesterday, um, I was getting ready to leave, and I poured some, uh, he has like a bag, it looks like a big old bag of cocaine, and fucking, it's like all Celtic salt, yeah. and I didn't know how potent it tasted or anything like that, and I, you know, I sometimes put Himalayan salt and shit like that in my pre-workout, and uh, don't really taste it, and uh, I added it to like a quarter gallon, oh my god, oh my god. Fucked up your whole I, t- I took a drink of it and literally like, dude, like when you're a kid and your mom tells you like wash your like strep throat out with like fucking uh, straight uh, salt water, salt water, yeah, uh, and it, like you can't even, it's just pure salt. Yep, dude, I don't, I didn't think I had poured that much in there, ruined the entire jug. I now have that quarter gallon has been, I've been breaking it out and I'll fill this up to about this uh line right here. Yeah, and then I'll pour the rest of my jug in there and then it's still salty as shit like i'm like bro because i don't want to waste it like (laughs) this podcast is sponsored by premier trt and med spa make sure you guys go over to www.premiertrt.com to get all of your testosterone hormone and peptide needs. <laughs> Absolutely. And just overall general health. I mean, you guys want to be checked out by the best in the business and people that actually care about you and your well-being and your overall health, whether it's strides and strength, uh, admirations, or just a healthy living style. You guys cannot beat Premier TRT and Med Spa. Great family-owned style business, and uh, you're just one of the family. And as always, get yourself checked. Either that or go check them out at 12774 Colorado Boulevard, Suite 141 in Thornton, Colorado. Yeah. Go over there and uh, tell Melanie we said uh, that we sent you, you know. Tell them that Built for War sent us. That's right. You were hanging out with us last night, chilling, and uh, you needed to come get checked. So, bam, there you are. Yeah. For so. a low price, they'll check you out. They'll get you what you need and get you out the door so you can be back to living a healthy, lovely lifestyle like everybody else. <sighs> That's the American dream. That's the American dream. It really is. (laughs) (laughs) But no, for real, guys, always we say keep an eye on your health, and uh, there's nobody better. Yeah. Premier. And uh, yeah, family, and just, man, you just become one of the family, okay? You're part uh, of the familia now. For real. (laughs) <laughs> you're under my protection, okay? <laughs> well, thank you for uh, sponsoring us, uh, Premier TRT, and uh, thank you to you. Always. Love we'll you see you guys. This podcast is sponsored by Server Strength USA. Make sure that you guys go to Cerberus-Strength.us for all of your Cerberus needs. Yeah, absolutely. They're the absolute best. They're coming up in the game. They're owning the game. Cerberus Strength is the best quality product you can cop. Possibly uh, wear. I mean, I tell you what, whenever I think of strongman or powerlifting nowadays, I think of Cerberus. Dude, I think about Cerberus every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I wear Cerberus every day. <laughs> it looks super sick. <laughs> it does. Uh, make sure that if you guys want any of the uh, the gear, the equipment, accessories, or parables, uh, they're even coming out with supplements now. Absolutely. Uh, make sure that you guys go check out Cerberus Strength. For real. Uh, they're, they're literally one of the best in the business. Probably the best in the business. They're sponsored. Sponsoring everybody from strongman athletes to all the ath- strength sport athletes out there taking over the game. And uh, you just know you're in safe and good hands when you rock Cerberus Strength. And make sure that you use our code B4WAR at checkout to save you 10% at checkout. Absolutely. And their packages always arrive, no problems, shipping, everything. So B4WAR, get you 10% off. And uh, thank you to Cerberus for uh, sponsoring this podcast. Absolutely. We love you. We love you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got you a new jug. So, I so keep that's all they do is just, like, salt yeah, and then they have yeah. some seasoning. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess they were doing some uh, research and shit. And, like, uh, they were saying that that Celtic salt is, like, fire. You're supposed to drink just a little bit every day. And, uh and it's supposed to be huge. And so I was like, okay. And, oh, but anybody that gets it, it's potent as fuck. 
Because yeah. I had a whole, yeah, I had that gallons in there. And just like, you had it in a bag. I just kind of tipped it in there and just like, you know, I was like, eh, it's about a half spoonful, like in a whole fucking quarter of a gallon. Ugh. I can add more. Oh, bro. I even add more water still. Salty. Uh, like, I, I think I'm drinking from the fucking sea. Ugh. Like, so bad. It sounds fucking miserable. It is, like, legitimately. I want nothing to do with that. Yeah, so bad. So bad. Um, Yeah, so just to get back in here, too, like, your thyroid looks great. Um, your thyroid's at a 3.2 where it should be 4.7 really and under that. Okay. Um, high functioning thyroids are basically what is going to be the, um, a lot of the biggest issue with people who are fat. Oh, okay. Um, normally if they're high, if their thyroids are high functioning, yeah, it's not sending the correct hormones. Okay. Um, which all of your hormones come from your thyroids. Right, so right. if your thyroid's fucked up, yeah, it's really fucking your up. body may hold. Uh, and I said that backwards. If your thyroids are fucked up, that is a likely cause of um, weight gain. Right, right. Because it's not processing your fat like it should yeah. if you're eating healthy fat. Absolutely. Um, and that's not an excuse to be fat. No, I've heard that excuse. <laughs> Yeah, I have a thyroid issue. I have an th- yeah, exactly. I have a thyroid issue. Cool. Well, there's fucking people with no legs that still know how to walk. <laughs> so facts. <laughs> like, I don't know what the there's fuck There's a lot of you. things to help your thyroid. Yeah. Like, that's what I mean. But that's what we talk about. Like, these, like everybody's body's different, dude. Like, you never know. That's what I'm saying. And you got to know. Then get these blood works done. Like, what I was talking about with the creatine levels, you know, one of my red things. I don't even consume creatine. Like, actually, like, like farm or i'm sorry uh you know fucking a supplement of creatine i don't eat a lot of red meat and i still am high like you never know what your body processes and yeah it's and taking. that's and that's the fucking reason to get your blood work exactly done. you got to know what your body's doing and on top of that like i'm outside all the time i don't take a lot of vitamin d um i used to i kind of cycled it but i was like dude i'm outside all the time <laughs> he's got and, you i know he does he's tying my shoe uh-huh. <laughs> and uh <laughs> and uh i got a baby tying my shoe while i'm preaching to you and uh <laughs> Um, you know, but not knowing that, like, yeah, my body's not breaking down that. So uh, yeah, for me to get those levels where I want them just to, for longevity and to be in the complete green, uh, yeah. Like we're going to jump on some milk, thistle, the C and the vitamin D just mm-hmm. keep those hounding just to keep safe and keep focusing on hydration, hydration, hydration. So. Well, and like, if you guys didn't know this, the reason why companies like, First form, Axe and Sledge, yeah. all of these businesses, they have a base yeah. of just vitamins. Yeah. That's got your omega threes, your omega sixes, your fucking vitamin A, B, C, D, all the way to fucking Z, basically. Um it's really not like that, but they have <laughs> they have all of these different vitamins and shit in there because that's what your body should be getting on a natural yeah, basis anyway. Right. right. Mm-hmm especially because that's basically the foundation of everything, right? Yeah. Like the different protein supplements, the different fucking, the creatine supplements, the carb powders, the pre-workouts, all of that is just shit that you should be taking on top of vitamins, good food, and fucking uh, water. Like after that, that's when you start adding in the supplements and all of that kind of shit. Exactly, exactly. Uh, because if your diet's right and your fucking blood work still looks like shit, then you should fucking... Yeah, then you got to jump into supplementation. The vitamins, bro. Yeah. That means your body's just not breaking down things correctly. And you're not going to know that. And like, that's what I'm saying. Proteins, fats, carbs, all those uh, all those things are super important. But like everybody breaks them down differently, dude. Mm-hmm. Like your body's just different, man. So you can't just always go with that that all men's natural. It's like that's a concoction of all these different things without blood work. It's like, dude, you're taking maybe fucking a normal dose of fifteen hundred milligrams of something. And it's like your body can't even break that down, bro. Yeah. Like you like you don't even need that. What are you doing? Like yeah. that you're actually hurting your body. Or it's like, no, dude, you need to buy that separate alone by itself because you need so much of that. Well, and like my liver and kidney function used to be super high. So yeah. I was taking a fuckload of milk thistle and all of that to make sure that everything started yeah. getting regulated. Yeah. Right. Um, pulled the alcohol back. Everything started looking good. Yeah. So good. It, it was just one of those things where like getting your blood work checked it just keeps it. Yeah. Is the reason of being able to stay healthy. Exactly. I mean, it really is, dude. And you only need to do it like a couple times a year. Like Mel, luckily all my stuff looks good. So she's like, Hey, come back in like five, six months. Let's do it again. Yeah. Make sure everything's good. And this, which would be good because that'll be right after a couple comps. Um, you know, 
it's another podcast, another stories and stuff like that, but where we do kind of play with things and you still want to make sure that like on a normal basis, you're walking around healthy and clean. We understand as strength athletes, especially as competitors, if you're in that realm, you may ramp up that system around certain, uh, you know, certain times. And, uh, but the biggest thing is you need to walk around majority of the time, fucking healthy and longevity driven. So, yeah, I mean, even when I'm in the, peak of my shit yeah i will go in and get checked yeah and even because that, yeah. i want to see what my body's doing Facts. while i'm putting right. all of this shit in my body right and going crazy because yeah. yeah it may look fucking good before and after what does it look like during it's true though that's a good are thing. my liver and kidneys taking that a, is a good fucking start. beating yeah is my blood cell count super fucking high like what exactly that is, is going good, on yeah because if what i'm doing is hurting me even for even for 12 weeks because my fucking training cycles it's true normally only last 12, 12 weeks yeah. even if my body's only hurting itself for those three or right. 12 weeks right that's three months yeah like that's a quarter of the year i mean that's true that's that i'm point. fucking hurting myself and yeah. i'm not even like right focused on like you get what i'm saying i do and it's like eventually yeah and it may exactly that's actually a really good point so find yourself Hey, premier to your tea. And, uh, but somebody that you can trust to know, like, hey, man, I, this is what I do. They will look over your blood work for you and still be honest with you. And, uh, cause it's something like that. Most people don't want people to know or whatever. They're scared of what they're gonna say. Like, they're there to look after you. And that's exactly true. Cause you may be able to, like, yeah, get your blood work while you're normal, rev your shit up, come back and you look good again. But eventually, if you don't know what's happening to that body, they they could be like, you know what? This is so intensely high. I'm shocked that your body keeps bouncing back. There's a good ch- <coughs> excuse me. There's a good chance that it might not bounce back the next time. Well, like and you're doing way too much to it. Like even the last time that I went in, when I came off of everything, um, because I came off completely off yeah, of everything, everything. off the test, um, to have Austin. When I went in to go get my blood work checked, because my body had been so used to getting this extra fucking hormone, yeah, yeah. I went to go in, and she said, uh, she's like, how are you functioning? Yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, she's like, so great how the fuck it. are you functioning? I was like, I don't know, Mel. Right. Like, tell me, what's wrong? She's <laughs> you like, tell me. She's like, your chart is lit up like a Christmas tree. She's like, it does not look good at all. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to pull it up because I want to kind of Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Let me see it. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's honestly what I was expecting. I'm not even shitting you. Like, when I went to go sit down, I was, like, stressed. I was like, fuck. Like, here we go. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's see this. It's going to take a little while, so keep talking. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, because, like I said, you never know. Like he just said, like, you can feel great and, like, you could be hitting PRs in the gym, seem like you're recovering fine. But that's the thing. Your body is always going to fuck Oh, my God. <laughs> Your body's always going to fight for you. So, But eventually, it will stop fighting. You know? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, so this was this was in the middle of the shit. Oh, my God. This is why I went and got in and went and got checked. Let's see. When was this? This was collection date 10, 17, 2020. Right out of the pandemic. Okay. So... Hemoglobin, fucking yeah. it just barely out, but it's still yeah, out. Yeah, I was going to say it's not 18.8. Not terrible. Hematocrit, barely out, Yeah, but it's out. Your seven is the same as mine yep. with LH. The luteinizing hormone, little, little fucking. So your estrogen was high as fuck? Yeah. Wow. No balls? Dude. Boobs. Yeah, bro. I'm surprised you ain't got titties from that. Oh, wow. no. I I definitely, I was. It was getting you a I little round. Yeah. Yep. You could feel the nipples being sensitive. Yep. 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 This is how you know I was on my shit, though. Dude, Bit. over three. Th- <laughs> it's just like marked 3,000 plus. It's like we can't read any yeah, higher than air, this. Air. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so they really want you from like a 280 to an 1100 14. on test. <laughs> I was 3000. In your sex hormone, it's like a 1495.8. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't fu- like, I was feeling great, but at the oh, same time, right. like this, uh, oh, okay. yeah, it did not look good. Oh, yeah, man. it's like my entire endocrine evaluation was yeah. like just fucked. Fucking red, red, red. Um, yeah, GFR. See, and this is the funny thing. So, like, my liver and kidney function was it was higher. Yeah, but like uh, better than what yours looks like now. Wow. At then. 
So wow. see what I mean? Like, see, that's weird. even though my body was fucking pumping crazy ass hormones. Yeah, but my liver kidney yeah, function. Yeah, yeah, your functions was great. were fine. Like, yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, where you, where your creatine levels and all that shit? Uh, let's go. Uh, creatine. Creatine one point three. Wow. So I was on the verge. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we were one off. Yeah. Um. Okay. Global man. 2.3. Oh, okay. So you were low on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everything was like. Yeah, it was good, though. It was good. Just um, your hormones are fucked. Yeah. Cause I'm on hormones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was uh, normally when I'm on my shit, it's like 500 uh, yeah, mil. Right. Right. That's a pretty good fucking amount of testosterone yeah, to be absolutely. on. And my body obviously fucking loves test. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Cause at 500 mil a week, it was fucking pump and test yeah it was like oh we're on oh we're fucking on that's why <laughs> that's why that's that's my happy spot anything yeah. over that and that i feel like it's, yeah. it's fucking Dude. destroyed yeah absolutely absolutely um i feel like there's not much that's why like i don't understand why guys will be taking a fucking i've gram. heard i've heard that they're like oh bro fucking gram a test a week it's like you're nuts Bro, that's so much. That's so fair. four milliliters. God, can you imagine that? Like maxing test. a fucking syringe out, just maxing it. You out have to do it. that and fucking yeah. one more. Yeah, that's Fuck. four mils Fuck. of fucking yeah, test no a way. week. Two needles. Oh my god, bro, you're nuts. Uh, no yeah. thanks. Yeah, that makes me sick. Yeah, you have fun with that bullshit. Yeah, Fuck that. Fuck you. Let's see. I I know I've got other ones in here somewhere, but yeah, that was. Uh, Wow. That was a fucking good one. Um, patient That's crazy. Oh, maybe this is what. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure, I'll find yeah. it out. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, even on hormones, this stuff is actually working better than mine. <laughs> Kidney and functions and everything else. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, you never know, dude. Like, we, that's what we constantly preach. You got to keep an eye out for yourselves. And you guys got to get fucking, and not even for yourselves, for your family, for your fucking longevity. Like, hey, make sure you're going to be, you got big, you got big plans for next year. You got big plans for the year after. You want to make sure you're fucking here for that, right? So, yeah, and this is the only way, man. Get that hard ass truth. And then, you know, be, catch it before something goes wrong and you can do something about it so well um, and that's definitely like the biggest thing right it's just making sure that like obviously every, every time i fucking relate it to something for somebody and it always seems to work is it's just like your fucking bank account yeah 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 you know it's fucked yeah but, but you gotta know what's going on and you're gonna have the anxiety of like looking at shit and going right Oh, this isn't going to be fun. Right. Like, I know right. this isn't going to be fun. Like, yeah. But you got to log into that mobile you banking app, you take a look at where you're at, and then that's going to relieve your anxiety. Seriously. You're going to know where to fucking start working from there yep. and move forward. It, like, it's facts, right? Long night you're drinking, you just bought everybody rounds and everything else. You wake up hungover as fuck. Like, idiot. The second, like, you, like the anxiety wakes you up. Yeah. Like, you're just like, you fucking idiot idiot mm -hmm. and yeah exactly and that's almost the first thing you do you deal with it immediately yeah you yeah you can either choose to be like oh it's no big i'm not even gonna right, look i'm just at gonna it. keep going until my card declines and it's like or you can just wake the fuck up deal with it and figure out what you got then do. you know where you're at and you yeah. know how much work you need to yeah put in. exactly yeah yeah pick up more work transfer money like whatever you got to do but that, that's a good analogy yeah so it's very facts and like where you're sitting at right now, you're in a fucking real good spot. Yeah. Like we had some side jobs stacked up. We're doing okay right now. But if we go too hasty, hey, we're going to be fucked. Take it so, easy. Yeah, exactly. So you just got to keep doing what we're doing. Basically, that's what my advice was like, you know, keep an eye on the kidneys. And uh, if I if I choose to, which, of course, I'm going to, and um, and just to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And if anything, try to look for better some scans. Because I do. I want to. Uh, it's just my own personal goal uh i want to match up this uh, i want to have a, a better blood uh blood results next uh time or at least the same and then uh, get that endo body scan uh on a few points a little lower so so we'll do that probably by the uh before we're probably prepping to go to worlds we'll probably be around that it'll probably be about that time so got a little bit of time yeah i'm gonna go in here in a couple of weeks once i get back because yeah. I'm about to go to Steamboat. Yep, I'm about to go to Steamboat. I know, that's going to be cool. It is. We're going to. That's going to be so fun. We're going to rent snowmobiles. God. 
I gotta Look get in practice I was just before we go say, to our man camp. I was just getting ready to say this motherfucker's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, how do you turn this thing on? And he's just like, <laughs> rain, <laughs> wheeling him by him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm fucking super excited Man, for that. too. I'm so stoked. That's cool, dude. That's going to be fun. Yeah. I want to go back up there this year. Probably like around fallish. Um, where are you guys going? Where are you staying up there? Um, I think so. Like a hotel in it? Or you no, be in it? it's a, uh, I think it's a timeshare. Oh, okay. I oh, okay. think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that brooks grandparents have a timeshare Sick. that also transfers to somewhere out in steamboat absolutely, absolutely. so we're gonna it's basically okay. gonna be like a bnb okay cool yeah. so that's rad yeah we're gonna do that and go out to uh we always go out to saddleback ranch um, they got a cool little fucking like snow that's where we're gonna go do the snowmobiles okay but they've also got like a sledding uh hill Sick. and shit Sick. um super fun we've gone like normally we go every year this yeah, time of year yeah and uh yeah this year fucking uh it's only gonna be my mother and father-in-law but because normally like brady and kaylee brooks yeah, brother yeah. and sister will come out too um but no this year it's just the five of us with little one little buddy right here so cool. That's we're gonna, gonna be fun. yeah, we're gonna go out and uh, she's not much of a snowmobiler, so she's okay. gonna hang out, watch Austin. Sick. Uh, we're yeah, gonna take shred. Yeah, you and Bobby, you just like later, <laughs> getting it. Backpack of dirty third keystones and say you later. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Might have to do that. <laughs> if they don't get it's, frozen, it's a two hour drive <laughs> oh, or two yeah. hour uh, uh, like session out there. <laughs> oh yeah. So even then, I was just like, I'm gonna. Fucking Dude, just tear shit up. That's gonna be so much. The last fun. time we went out there, I uh, because normally they don't give you like super high horsepower. Yeah, yeah. No, sled. it's just like yeah. But the guys operating the sled normally have like an extra hundred cc. Oh, on theirs. right, right. You rent the fucking two fifty while the guys are on like four fifties. Yeah, shit. it's like okay. <laughs> so the last time I was out there, I was playing in the fucking powder on yeah. the very sides because they take you to this gigantic field. So people are running back Just and forth, playing. and yeah. it and it packs all the snow. Right. Well, I'm over here fucking like, you know, because it's like how to do a snowmobile. It's funny because you turn left. But lean right. Right. And that's how you turn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm over here fucking like pulling the fucking sled around yeah. and doing all sorts of crazy shit. And he goes, you've been on a sled before, huh? I was like, yeah, I, I've been right. on a few of them. Right, right. He goes, well, you want to take this one? I'm like, oh, fucking game yeah. on. So I was oh. back in the trees going through the fucking Sick. trees and shit. He's like, just don't fuck it up because right. then I'm going to have to ride bitch with you. And right, I'm gonna right. going to be real mad. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You Sick. got it. Sick. So, That's I gotta, so rad. I'm going to bring my helmet and all of that kind of shit because I still got all of my fucking old stuff. Sick. Yeah. Bro. And, I'm so excited. And, okay, now we've gotten into the bullshitting aspect of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think blood work is done. We're yeah, over, we're over that. that. Um, I've also, here once my new card comes in, uh -huh. I'm getting all of the parts for my motorcycle. Zach. Yep. Sick. New fairing kit, headlight, <laughs> windshield. Sick. Are you redoing it to ride it or sell it? I'm going to ride it for a few months and then sell it. Okay. It's got 2,400 miles on it. That's not bad. That's Especially nothing. for an 05. That's nothing. No. No. You could totally fucking wait, get it all ready right before bike season. Sell that motherfucker because mm -hmm. everybody's going to be looking and then get yourself something like, you know, if you want like a. You know what I think I'm going to do? What? I think I'm going to trade it in for dirt scoop. Dude, I want one still so bad. And a mini dirt scoop. Sick. Yep. See, that's something I do. Like, uh, I want to get, like, especially this summer, especially if you go buy one, like, it's game on. I don't yeah. care. I'll go, I'll go knock a bathroom out and buy one. Because uh, especially after we saw Sean's post and, like, he's going out with his son and shit. Yeah. I was like, bro. I want a dirt bike so bad just to go just go play. Well, and like, the fucking badass thing is IMI is only fucking 15 That's what I mean, and that's here. one of the illest tracks there is. Yeah. Like, it's just an ill. They got the flat area where you can play. They've got the fucking the Amtrak, the pro track, yep. the flat track, that's the fucking... A, you can uh, do whatever you want, yeah. man. They got some free riding. Like, they just... Like, that's such a good place. Sometimes they'll have the freestyle jump exactly. out there. Yeah, sometimes yeah. they have the 
the ramps out there and shit. Like that's I love IMI. So do I. I love that place. Yeah. So I yeah when and they were out there. I think when they took their pictures, they were out in IMI. Yep. And uh, I was like, bro, that would just be so much fun. Just once in a while, just go out there and just go throw. I just want to like hit some jumps and throw some whips and just have some good times. Yeah. Like that's it. Yeah, like maybe do a little fucking bullshit like you yeah, and me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like 125 uh, yeah. heat or something. Yeah. yeah, like we're going to gut line up, man, first five laps. Yeah. So like, yeah, just some sick shit. Yeah, just like, oh, uh, that's, dude. I miss that. And that's, I, I honestly, I got to thinking about it. I have to drive my truck fucking everywhere, yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. Because with owning the business, I have to have a truck. Absolutely. Um, our next vehicle, though, once, because I'm about to pay off my truck, then Brooke's going to be paying off her. We're going to, Take the money that's going into my truck, and we're basically just going to do like the debt snowball thing. Yeah, there you go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Get he's going to he's gonna sit up. Oh. He just sat up on his own. This is a big deal. You're the man. I hope. Oh, I don't think it caught it. <laughs> Brooke hasn't seen that yet. No way. That's like his third time doing it. Good man. Here you go, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Dude, we're not even like. Right down your calendars, this kid's going to be fucking legitimately like benching 135 by the time he's like 12. Dude, I was going to say 12. Like 12. Like I guarantee like pulling 135. Like he'll be benching, squatting, and fucking deadlifting 135 at like 12. I guarantee Like by legitimately. Like this kid's stupid. Like when he grips onto your finger and shit, like it's like, hey, dog. Like, this ain't no fucking 800 pound frame. Can you let off my finger right now? Why don't you like, let go of my <laughs> finger before it pops <laughs> like a zit? He does. He like kind of grabs it with his little fat hand and he's just like, yeah. And he's just like, ah, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the next vehicle, we we need a family vehicle. Yeah, for real. Um, I get that. For when we, because we're going to have another baby too. Yeah. So not, yeah. that's not a pregnancy announcement. But I'm just saying, like, we're going to have another baby. Yep. The trucks are great. Yep. They'll work great. But when it comes to, like, soccer practice or... Dude, you need a bigger... Like, right. You're going to have to load that shit. Family rides. Just getting the kids. Kids carry shit with them everywhere. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Soccer bags. Just, like, yeah. You need that full-size vehicle. And yeah, full I want a fucking Cadillac Escort. Dude, anyway. <laughs> it's... Dude, it is the dad pimp ride. Like, it is. It is the dad pimp ride. And yeah. especially because the brand new ones have vet motors in them. They're so ill. Yep. The new ones are... Cadillac fun. CTS V. Yeah. Or uh, Escalade V. Yeah, my brother actually just, uh, he didn't get a brand new one because he's the same way. Like, he has, like, his trucks and all that shit. And then his, yeah, his choice of family vehicle is uh, a Caddy uh, Escalade. And uh, he just got a brand new one, but it wasn't a brand new one. Uh, he bought a 20, fuck, what did he buy? It might even have been, like, a 2019 or 2020. Those things are just sick. Yeah. They're just, it's, like, pearl white, chrome, just leather inside, clean. Like, well, it's, like, damn. And uh, I got to talking to Brooke about it. And, ah, they're ill. Yeah, like, fucking that Ill. right there. Even dude. just, even this gray color. Oh, yeah. What the f- the fuck, dude? Yeah, we trying- do uh, some work uh, for some ridiculously... Like, I mean, they, they got fuck you money. Straight yeah. fuck you money. And uh, he, uh, she drives, his wife drives one of the brand, brand fucking like 2023 or 2024 fucking Escalades all blacked out yeah. shit to take the kids to soccer and hockey. I'm like, yep. dude. I'm like, like, look how fucking yeah. clean that thing is. Sick. And they're hopped up, dude. Yeah, like, dude. Those things are nasty. 700 horse. Yeah. And so, I mean, she turns it on, like pulls it out of her garage. I'm it's like, like bro, bro, Yeah, bruh, I'm bruh, just bruh, like, like, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and you just taking the little fucking ninos to hockey? Zero to six seconds in less right. than four, or zero to like, 60 in less than four seconds. All right, check this out, bitches. Buckle up. <laughs> Mama's got to hit Starbucks run <laughs> and get you to soccer practice in 20 minutes. We're so doing it. We're done. Let's go. And, well, we started talking about it, and I was like, I want an Escalade. I want yeah. an Escalade. They're and sick. now that the Vs are out, that's what I want. Yeah. And I've always wanted an Escalade. You know what I want? Hmm. Just because we're on, like, big size vehicles? Um, I don't have kids. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is buy a, uh, uh, my brother's been talking to him. I think I'm going to buy a, they only like full size, like double XL, like Yukons and Tahoes. Cause I have my, my Yukon. Yeah. Um, they convert them, you switch it out, send it to them and they put Duramaxes in them. That would be gangster. Yeah. They, they, you have to send it to them. They're out of, uh, Georgia. 
Yeah, and yeah, you send you send them whatever year they like full XLs and stuff, and as long as it doesn't have rust and they don't have to do new body and stuff, you're looking for the rent. It's expensive, but these are fucking expensive, and that's sick. Don't get me wrong. Like, well, that is fancy and gangster shit. Yeah. Um, like though I think like you go, you can probably go pick one of those up for seven, eight grand as long as it's pretty clean in the engine and everything. And I think the swap is about fifteen. That's so, not bad at all. No, no, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, you send it off, they ship it, they fucking rebore it. So, could you imagine like a fucking straight up like mine double XL Duramax, dude? That's the Chevy <laughs> version of the excursion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Remember it, when they yeah, had the, the excursions were the huge, seven, three, the and Ford, the six yeah, yeah, yeah. And they stopped making them. Yeah, and it's like, dude, Dodge oh. used to do that with the Magnums way, way back yes, in the day, back yeah. in, before the excursion yeah, yeah. came out. Dodge yep. was the first one to do it. Yeah. Um, they had the 12 valves in them. Yeah. And those were fucking uh, sick. They're nasty. You don't see them anymore. No. Yeah. Rarely do you see one putting around. I like, I've only seen it only one. an excursion. And I'm talking excursion, not the Magnum and stuff like yeah. the excursion. Like you rarely see them. And when you yeah. do, they're normally in they're, really fucking They're really taken care of. And, like yeah. it's somebody that knows diesels and like they know how to take care of those. But yeah. yeah, you don't see those anymore. They're nasty. But I got to talking to her about this and she was like, how much does it cost? And I was like, well, brand new, it's 150000 Yeah. She's like, let's do it. Well, right. And she was like, think about it. You could fucking die tomorrow. Here in five years, you know, mm-hmm. we could have this thing. Obviously, it's going to be fucking an expensive, probably two thousand right. dollar a month payment. Right. She was like, "But you're going to buy this thing, and you're going to be able to afford it because we're mm-hmm. both going to be putting money on it." Yeah. But you're you're going to be happy. Like, this is what you want. <clears throat> it's dude. And she was like, "We can save our money, but where does it go when we die, dude? You g- fucking have, nowhere." Have you ever seen a hearse pull a U-Haul? Not never. Not never. And that is seriously a huge thing. I, this is what he just said is seriously something that I preach constantly to people. Uh, but my girlfriend and her mom, like, I'm like, because they're just such penny pinchers and mm-hmm. savers. And it's like, bro, like, what are you saying? What do you, I understand, like, I got, like, you know, like she's remodeling her house. That's totally, it's a short term savings account. I think short term savings accounts are smart. You're saving it because there's already something. It's already spent. Yeah. You're just needing that bulk. But when you're just saving money, not living life, and all you do is feel like you're drugged down constantly by working and saving and working. Like, you're not even fucking living. You could you're go not. out tomorrow for your your another shift, slip on the ice, break your fucking hip, or get in a car accident, and something can happen to you. And do Like, for what? It's just money, bro. Yeah. Like, the good Lord let you wake up again today. You have the strength to go do your fucking job and to make more. So enjoy what you're doing. And, like, yeah. you know, that's literally the same conversation of, like, I just ended up buying a new bike. It was the same exact thing. It was like, I'm going to be happy on this motherfucker. This brings yeah. me joy. Yeah. Like, it's it's not, what you wanted. It's what I wanted. The price was just right. right. It was, it, yeah. Like, I'm not saying, like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> the kids aren't going to college. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? For like, sure. Yeah. Like, like don't, don't take this wrong. Obviously, don't put your family in jeopardy no. by, like, literally dropping $150,000 yeah, fucking exactly. dollars on a car. Exactly. If you don't have $150,000 no. to spend. Exactly. Or, like, you know, bring that budget out a little bit every day. Like, uh, but if it's important to you, like where you can swing it, you might need to change your lifestyle a little bit, but you can swing it without stressing your family, dude, bring that, like you deserve it. Like, I mean, in a sense, like if you are literally grinding family, everything else, having that nicer vehicle, like you appreciate that you'll be amazed or vacations. I used to be one of those people and that's why I can yeah. preach so much on this subject is back when I did have a, a, a full family and uh, a stepdad work. and everything else. And, uh, you know, I, that's all I did was save and save, didn't take vacations, didn't do anything, but you get blown the fuck out. You get overworked, you become angry, you become everything. And then the second I started like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna be a little stressed up, but we're going to taking a trip to Mexico. We're going to start doing a little things. Dude, those resets and those little those little things is just what keeps you longevity grinding, because you're actually you feel like you're actually getting a, rewarded in a sense for your hard work. Um, so, yeah, don't t- yeah take that for like you 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 fuckers that are grinding, dude. Like appreciate yourself a little bit, like you know. Yeah, but I mean? go buy yourself something fucking nice. Yeah. because what's the point of working dude, your fucking ass for off what? if you're just gonna be stressed or, the fuck or out? Or wait because... until you're sixty to buy that vet. Like I do understand at this age. Like I remember being a seventeen year old and seeing like sixty year olds in their fucking brand new vets. And it's like, okay, cool guy. And it's like, no, it's because that dude is probably 
lived his whole life with shit, and he finally just now got himself a... But why did you need to wait until you were 60-something years old to enjoy that little piece of, like, you know, that joy? Yeah. It's like, there's no reason. You're going to be working every day anyway. Fucking, why not on the weekends have yourself a sick fucking Escalade to kid, take the kids to Walmart or to fucking soccer practice, yeah. and life is good, and you feel good. And yeah, like, and... You, you know, and I was like, I always told Brooke, I was like, I want another fucking race car. Yeah, I miss having a race car, going to the track, fucking ripping down the fucking drag yeah, track. Yeah. And then I was thinking about it, and they've got all these badass fucking SUVs. I'm like, dude. fuck it, two and one, absolutely. Because what I can do with this thing, oh, dude, is I can right. get it to it. It comes with 684 horse. And it does zero to sixty in four point four yeah, seconds. That's stupid. That's stupid. Bro, that's, that's fast, fast. fast as fuck. That's fucking that's what I mean, fast. Dude, you go out there and race so, with other soccer moms. Bro, fuck just fucking right. slap some badass dude. fucking like maybe put a little lift on it. Hell do yeah. some fucking sicker rims. Sick. I'm good. That's it. That's all you need, dude. You got the I'm engine suit. So you don't yeah. need to do shit. No. Yeah. And that's what I mean, dude. Like And and this is going to like we were just talking about, like I'm going to get in this and I'm going to feel some fucking type of way. Absolutely. I'm going to feel like you, my fucking dick is just dragging I, on the ground. And that's okay, right? That little bit of it. Like you deserve it. If you are an actual grinder and you fucking grind and you are going and you ain't, you know, you nonstop. And uh, like, yeah, you deserve those little bits. And I know it's not for everybody. It, and it's not. It's like, not for everybody. People don't want a fucking brand new Cadillac. No, they don't. People don't like, but if you're, if you have the ability to fucking go and take all these fucking vacations. Yeah. You've got one planned out every three months. Yeah. Four times a year. You're going out Paris, Rome, right, China, right. fucking Bora Bora. Right. That's not really for me. Right. Right. Like, yeah, I want to do that. But absolutely. But I'd rather do this. Absolutely. So I'm yeah. not going to be fucking mad at you. No, absolutely. I'm not going to tell right. you, well, you're it, fucking well, and stupid. That's exactly. And it's just the way you decide what's important to you. It's you, just the what, everyday grind. But you got that little slice of heaven every day. Like, and it is like, you're exactly right. It, there's something feeling about like, oh, fuck, I got Walmart. Or I got to go fucking pick up the kids, whatever. But then walking out into your sick ass vehicle yeah. or something. Like, it's just that little bit of like, when I fucking this yank it. this bitch out of the garage yeah. and that fucking cam is chopping away. Yeah, it's like, and I'm like, all right, kids, let's get in. Let's fucking, like, right. It's let's be the it. fucking cool thing. It's just parents. that little small thing of it. It's not materialistic. It's just like, it's that little bit. This is like, this is worth it. This is what I do this for. Mm -hmm. And I look in the rear view mirror and got the kids back there. It's like, he and little money grabbing motherfuckers. But I love you. Yeah. I love you. And like, but look at us. Also, like, like we're doing this. As having, as, as being a parent, you deserve to give your fucking kids exactly Absolutely. the feeling that you didn't have. Uh, well, right. I don't want to be that parent rolling up to fucking high school yeah. in right. some fucking clapped out. Right, right. Mom, drop me off down the street. Civic. Drop me off down the street. Yeah, yeah, I do. I 100% agree with that. I do get that. But again, do this in terms of like, there is a point of where I think other people go too far where they, they're expanding, they're, they're hindering their family life for that, uh, just so that they look like they're doing so good, you know, if that yeah, makes sense. Like, yeah. obviously, I'm not gonna be fake balling, exactly, fake balling, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, yeah, it's like you're broke as shit, but like, you want your kids to seem like they're doing so, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be like one of those things where, yeah, mommy and daddy are gonna yeah. pay some fucking money, yeah, on they're paying some money, but guess what? Daddy work hard, mommy yeah. work hard too, so yeah. don't fucking worry about We're it. gonna fucking toss a good half of this fucking money yeah. down in cash. And the rest of it's going to be Absolutely. fucking cake. Yeah, it's going to be sick. It's but really worth like, it, dude. Yeah, this is what I fucking exactly. want. Exactly, and it is. I mean, it's so why the fuck not? You should. Yeah. I mean, it's literally the, like it's is like you, you know everybody grinds, everybody works. So you're fucking just like, damn, dude. I just want to chill and like, but it's those little things that make it worth. Like yesterday, I had to earn. Was it yesterday? Yeah, maybe it was yesterday. It was actually nice yesterday. Which is yeah. crazy here in Colorado. It was like, like, dude, did you see degrees. next week's fucking weather? Oh my god, it's all sunny. Everything's forties and fifties. Um, but uh, yeah, I had to go down to Vision Works and go get uh, my second pair of glasses, and uh, it was like halfway nice. And I fucking pulled the bike out. I had the new Harley, and just like that twenty minute ride, it was just like so worth it. <laughs> like, don't even care. Like, I like that little twenty minute of clarity was just like. This is why I grind. This is yeah. why I work. This is what I do. Like, and I'm fucking, I'm for it. I'm good with it. Yeah. Like, fuck it. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck it. It's literally, it's one of those things. Like, yeah, you got on that bike and you're like, I was like, 
Man, work really. Ain't yeah, that bad. It, exactly. It's yeah. like it's, it's like, really man, not that bad. Like, like you fucking grind your dick off, and right. all of a sudden you have the ability to just get on a bike, and right. you just fucking forget, and it. just forget it. Just like you know what I mean, or just being in your new car and like forget it, or your new truck and forget it, or take vacations and forget it. Like whatever it may be for you, but those are important, dude. Just yeah. don't fucking be saving money forever. Like, yeah, I'm doing never, nothing with it. I've seen, I've seen a lot of money. I've seen it come and I've seen it go. Yes, and I know for a fact, like you said, fucking never seen a U-Haul behind a fucking hearse. Never seen one, never unless seen you one. plan on getting buried with your stuff. Yeah, but right. nobody's gonna remember no, you. Nobody, nobody. So why don't you do it? Yeah, and if you're not, you don't like stuff, but you got a bunch of money, you don't do anything. Then fucking donate it. Do something like it, dude. Don't worry. Like you, money, you gotta make money. Money but is just, money. Make sure that you're making money. Exactly, yeah. And lots sure. of it. <laughs> yeah. Because here's the deal. There's no nobility in poverty. That's facts. Everybody, I see this shit all the time, too. Like, the biggest thing is, like, I helped at my food kitchen. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. You fucking poured some soup in bowls. Yeah. Now, how cool would it be if you said, I helped my food kitchen by giving them 20 fucking exactly. thousand dollars? That's right. Or, that would yeah. be fucking cool. Or I fed 10,000 10, fucking people. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I paid that money to make sure that they had fucking this many meals. Yeah, I went to the store and fucking yeah. we, right. we raised enough money to feed 20 families for Thanksgiving. Exactly. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah, like we did uh, this last year, my wife and I did uh, presents for, no, you cannot grab that. Uh, presents for a family that couldn't afford presents. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Fucking cool deal. Absolutely. Guess what? That took money. Exactly. We had fucking extra. Yeah. We gave it away. It's like, yeah, I can help you out. I get that. Do you yeah. want to say something? Let the people know what you got to say, little Austin. <laughs> I'm like, I'm growling up. What you got? Austin. Hey. Tell the people. Tell the people. Ah, scream. It's <laughs> Ozzy. You got shit all over your face, buddy. <laughs> He's so like, bro, you took me away from a bag. I'm just trying to, like, rip my bag around. <laughs> oh, 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 baby's going to say something. He'll say something for Again, sure. Until he don't worry. Um, well, actually, we have been on here for a minute now. We have. Um, so we'll get it wrapped up. Yeah. How about you guys do us a favor? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit That's the share. Right. That's right. Um. Like we said in previous, if you guys haven't, um, make sure that you are subscribed because at 100 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. We are. Every 100 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. Yep. So it get may that not be, in there. may not be anything super crazy. No, nothing crazy, but well, hey, it, may. You it could be know. something super cool. Hey, who knows? We could we could show up at your doorstep. We could, we could package ourselves there. Yeah. We could maybe package the baby. I mean, no, we would never do that. <laughs> Say, that's human trafficking, <laughs> Uncle Mike. <laughs> How do you think I afford that new Harley? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of dark humor there. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or never. is it? I would never. <laughs> I'd package him with me. <laughs> and, uh, um, but, yeah, hit the like, hit the subscribe, guys, because, uh, yeah, when we do hit that 100, uh, we're going to throw you guys in a pool. Mix it all up and uh, do a giveaway. So, and that's going to be all hundred. So, if you get in, yep. if you get in now, yeah, you could be the hundredth subscriber, the last one, and you're going to be in that poll. Mm -hmm. So, keep an eye out for that. And like we said, uh, we got plenty of stuff shot. We need to edit it. Hey, we got lives. He's got a baby. Uh, we got all kinds of things. So I got a should, baby. He's got a baby. Look at that baby. Um, so pretty soon. Um, oh, a stinky baby. So keep an eye out for that. More content's coming. And um, yeah. And uh, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in always. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep fucking staying strong. Keep striving. You know what I mean? And look out for the best for you and your family. Yes, sir. So. All right. Well, I think that'll do it. Yep, for sure. All right. Love you guys. Love you. See ya. Later.